Hi. This is Tua with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to mirror Android screen on Debian, Ubuntu, and its base distributions like Linux Mint, Elementary, Pop OS, Zorin, KDE Neon, and so on. There are plenty of reasons why you would mirror your screen on a desktop. For example, you might want to control your phone using a regular keyboard and mouse, respond to calls without getting up, enjoy your favorite Android games on the bigger screen, or if you're a developer, you can check your app without having to constantly reach out your phone. There's a gin emotion you can use to handle some of them. If you are interested, you can check the video that I published on this channel some time ago. But since Google has started requiring app developers to update their apps with 64-bit ARC64 support, some applications are only available in ARM64. Because of this, Ginemotion does not support that, even with ARM translation tools. Well, there's Bicer, which is basically a Chrome extension we can use to put Android screen on the desktop. Unfortunately, the free version doesn't support high-quality mirroring, full-screen, wireless connection, and drag-and-drop files. You have to pay the developer to unlock the limitations in future features. Thankfully, there's Screen Copy project developed by GenieMobile. Screen Copy is a free open-source mirroring application that allows you to control of an Android device through the USB cord cable or over TCP IP connection without root access. It's a cross-platform software, so you can use it on any Linux distributions, Mac OS, and Microsoft Windows. To use Screen Copy, your phone or tablet must be running Android 5 Lollipop or higher and enable USB debugging. On some devices, you may also need to enable an additional option to be able to control the device from your computer. I can't give you specifics, since I don't have every phone. Installing Screen Copy on Debian SID in Ubuntu 20.04 LTS or its base distros is easy PC because the package is available on repository. But before we start, we have to enable the universe repository. We can do this by simply running sudo adapt repository universe from the terminal. If you don't like the command line stuff, you can also enable it with graphical user interface. Just launch software and updates from application menu, and then give a check on community maintained free and open source software. You can also enable the software restricted by copyright or legal issue to access more packages. It's finished. Now let's back to the terminal window and install the package. Run sudo apt install secpy. Hit the enter button to continue and let the advanced package tool will download packages and their dependencies automatically. For those who use older releases like Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, 16.04 LTS, and its base distros, screen copy is available as a snap. So, use this commands instead. Okay, let's back to the focal desktop. Once installed, you can now close or minimize the terminal window and connect your phone to your computer via USB cable. Screen Copy doesn't have an app launcher, so you won't find anything in the application menu. But you no need to worry, because we can simply run SCRCPY as a normal user from the terminal to start using it. Check your phone and tap Allow Debugging dialog on your device. That's it. Your phone screen should now show up in a window on the Linux desktop screen. You can now control it using mouse and keyboard to remove extra step of grabbing the device for every new notification. 
for supported shortcut keys, here's the list of Well, I already mentioned earlier, Screen Copy doesn't have an application launcher. But it doesn't mean we can't create it. You can use a text editor as shown to create a desktop shortcut launcher on Ubuntu. Fill the name with application name, comment as description, exec as command, type as application, icon, and categories. And save it as something.desktop on local share applications. It's a hidden folder on your home. Press Ctrl plus H to show the hidden files. I put this format in the description down below, so you can just copy and paste it. For icons section, it's better to copy it into local share icons, so we don't have to write the full path. Simply create it, if the folder doesn't exist. Ok, let's check the result. There you go. Screen copy can now be run via the application launcher. So, these were all I can share. Hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to click thumb up, drop a comment, and subscribe to get more Linux stuffs.